Okay. My name is Kent Kreitler. Um, we, this is on short notice, of course, and just on behalf of the family and all of Jordan's friends, who are all of you, we want to thank everyone for coming up. We felt like um, that it was appropriate for all of us to come up here where Jordan had such an amazing year this year and has grown up and has really um, created a lot of who he is. Um, I know throughout the year, a lot of us have been with Jordan going off all angles of this mountain, whether flying or skiing, and we all enjoyed a fantastic year, year here with him. And, and um, we just felt like he would, he'd like us to do this today here. So um, thanks everyone for coming. Um, Doug's holding a, a um, snow blade that was Jordan's, uh, part of Jordan's attire for today. And um, we'll be opening up the floor to people to talk, but just to kind of help manage, we'll use that as a talking stick. Um, it's not critical, but just maybe try to pass it to whoever's speaking and we can go from there, see if that works or not, or if it matters. Um, maybe turn phones off. Um, and then also just logistically, so at, at three, um, Michael's gonna lead a procession of everyone down the mountain so that we make it down and people who want to come back up can still make it back up and um but we'll all follow michael down um as a pro as a procession at three so if you guys can help wrap it up around that time so that the people downloading can get down at, uh within comfortable time uh that would be terrific um so all of us are here because of jordan um he was, we all know he was just such a person, such a being full of love and someone who was loving and loved and always brought good energy anywhere he went. And uh, I just feel really, I feel so fortunate to have connected with Jordan really last year and become good friends with him and spent so much time skiing with him. And growing up here, uh, Doug was always just a great mentor and awesome local older guy to be around so just a, just an amazing family um but yeah jordan was the kind of guy who for me he he's just the kind of guy who would go and he'd volunteer just to go pick you up at the bottom of a, of a run without taking it himself off the side of baldy or or uh you know he'd share his lunch with you on the chair if you didn't bring any food and he always just made sure everyone around him had whatever they needed, if he had something he could provide for for us. And as we all know, he's just an amazing, amazing, amazing person. Um, so at this time, oh, so we just want to invite um, anyone who feels moved to speak, um, please go ahead and, and uh, just take a chance and say something. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, that's what we're here for. and. We're here to uh, show our love for Jordan and, and, and his family and all of us. So at this time, I'd like to turn the mic over to Doug and um, go from there. Thank you, Kent. What a beautiful, beautiful group of people you are. I want to express our family's love to every person that's here. And I know there's many people that are not here that want to be here. We love Jordan. We want you to know that Jordan loved you beyond words, and there are no words to express the loss of our son. We know that he lives, that he's here with us in spirit, and he will continue to live through eternity. We know that he was created by a God that loves him, that knew him before he came to this earth, to be here for a short time and we know that he will continue to live throughout eternity we want you to know that he believed that and that he had faith in god and he expressed that faith in god by loving god by loving his fellow man each one of you we want you to feel jordan's love on the count of three i want at the top of your lungs to say jordan with me one time thank you one two three jordan! Thank you so much for your love. And this is a talking ski now, and whoever would like it will we'll move it around. Thank you so much.
Uh, one, one other thing, his his funeral will be this Saturday at one o'clock, and there'll be a viewing before that at the LDS Church in Haley, and everyone is invited. I have to do this before I get too nervous to do it. Jordan is one of our grandsons who brought joy and love to all of us. And I want to say that the posts that have been put on the Facebook from all of you have been really great tributes to Jordy and to the family. And I want to thank all of you who've posted and who just share the love that we have for him. And thank you so much for being here. And as Jordy's grandfather, every time we saw Jordy, we felt this immense love, which I'm sure that you have experienced too. And thank you so much. Thank you, Jordan for being the person that you authentically through and through were. Jordan was my coach at Progression Camp. I really, it was really fun and I miss him. I just want to say he was a really good guy. He was really nice to everyone at the camp. Jordan Love. that ski boy. My name is Jimmy DeWolf. This is tough. Jordan touched all of our lives and our family. The last couple of years have been pretty amazing with that guy. And my daughter, Sophia, my son, William, my wife, Eva, my twin boys, Christian and Lucas. We raged with this guy. He was awesome. I feel so lucky that he touched our lives. I'm going to read something that my daughter posted on Facebook so you can read it yourself. but. I thought it was well written and, and uh, very appropriate. But, you know, as the father, I, I just, I, I give all my sympathies to the family. I can't imagine, you know, how you feel in the loss and our hearts are with you every step of the way forever. That's a tough one, as tough as I can ever possibly imagine. For me, you know, I'm the old guy in the family, but Jordan treated me with total respect. We had some amazing powder days together, and uh, he has been a mentor to my son and a best friend to my daughter and a, just a great uh, friend to the whole family. So I thought I would read what my daughter Sophia has written on Facebook. Jordan, this has definitely been a hard one to wrap my head around. It's weird when something big happens in your life and the one person you would normally talk to about it isn't there. We really did have some amazing times together, whether exploring the backcountry or some trips to the secret baldy backside spots. You always were the one to spearhead the adventure. Everyone would rally with just one call or text from you because we knew that whatever you were up to, we wanted in on it. You introduced me to the way of life we should all be living. No fear, no regrets, just loving the moment and the people you're with. Even though our ups and downs and you would always tell me, Sophia, the time is now. This is the point in our life where we need to be living life to the fullest, going on all kinds of trips and stuff. And then would start planning where we were going to go on some kind of mountain biking road trip adventure through Canada, debating the best flavor of Noosa yogurts, or talking about the most efficient solar panel placement on his next Sprinter van. There were so many little things, too. The patience you have with everyone, especially with my little brother, William, was remarkable. You were his idol. <laughs> and as you were, 
and will continue to be to so many young kids in the Valley, you will leave a legacy throughout so many generations and beyond because no matter how old or young, you are kind and treated everyone with respect. I'm not sure where to go from here. Michael, you know I'm always here for you and your incredible family. It is rare to meet a family like you all. For now, do as though Jordan would have wanted. Embrace the moment with a smile, no matter the situation. Be outside, stay focused on your goals and dreams, be passionate and kind to everyone, and never ever be afraid to live your life to the fullest. I'll be raising a gluten-free beer to you up there, Jordan. <laughs> As Jordan's grandmother, I just want to say how much I loved his huge smile and his great big hugs. Let's always remember that smile. I love him so much. Thank you. Can you come over here? So just don't point it at the speakers. Um, I don't know if anybody saw the video killed the radio star done by my my sister and Jordan Niedrich and just that small little snippet you can tell that he has one of the biggest hearts and just a, such a fun loving guy I'll never forget him. Jordan's always been the exact type of guy that I've always aspired to be. To spread happiness to everyone. There's nothing wrong with that, and I wrote a post on Facebook I'd like to read you guys. Um, Jordan Niedrich was one of a kind. We were a true person to the deepest level, always spreading positivity and compassion through your love for life. Your glowing smile will stick with me forever. Reminding me of how blessed we all are for being given this opportunity to live and to love life. This came as a huge shock to me, but I came to the realization that in the grand scheme of things, you can always do, what you can always do is look up and smile because our time here is not permanent. And must be cherished through love and happiness because what else is there? Jordan wouldn't want us to sit and cry for his departure. He wants to fly with the gift that he has left behind. Follow your passions with every bit of energy you have, and you'll be gifted with what Jordan had, a true love for experiencing this life. Stand up and make him proud. Find your niche and run with it without looking back. I think negative things are, are a mere reflection to positivity to help light the way, guiding our heart to its very home. I'll be shredding for you, man. I love you, man. It's sad that the best of people with the biggest of hearts and the greatest souls leave our world first, but I think that it might be meant to be this way. You're simply too good for life and to handle and simply can keep up with it. It can keep up with you, so I let you go where you truly, truly belong and can fully prosper without the restraints of gravity. Holding you down. Fly, my friend, and know that you were, ble were blessed from, or you blessed many that you touched. I would say goodbye, but I know that I will cross paths with you again. So in the meantime, I'm going to have a blast and live with the passion for life that you showed me. Love you, bud. Rest high in the sky. Jordan has always been one of the most adventurous souls that I've ever met. I will never forget like sophomore year when we first started getting the longboarding together and uh, me, Jordan, and Michael we used to go out skating at the, uh, the dump keys on the driveway and thank God for them letting us learn how to ride that driveway. <laughs> it was a little steeper than we were used to but we figured it out. 
And then eventually we ended up getting drop deck boards and trying to push ourselves a little farther. And Jordan was always the kid that was like, all right, let's go a little harder. Let's go a little faster. Let's see if we can slide 360s instead of 180s. And longboarding down Galena Summit with Jordan Niedrich was one of the coolest things I have ever done. And I will never forget it. Just holding hands as we're skating down Galena Summit, switching spots. It was one of the most spiritual, amazing things that I've ever, ever been a part of. And I will never, ever forget that. I'm Lori Burks, better known as Will Burks wife. Um, and I'm only talking because I think he wants to and he won't. Um, Will and I were on the chairlift yesterday and the timing was pretty serendipitous that we actually saw Jordan's crash. And Will said to me this morning, maybe, you know, everything happens for a reason. There's probably, hi, I think to hug you. Yeah. Um, I think for me, it makes it harder that I saw it, but I think for Will, it, it gave him a sense of peace knowing exactly what happened to Jordan. Um, these two boys have been at my house a lot, and as I said to his parents last night, there were so many things I loved about Jordan, but how could you not love someone that loves your kids almost as much as you do? Both of these guys have been such a presence in their life, and I, I strive to raise my boys to become like Jordan and Michael. And he will be so sorely, sorely missed. And all the kids in the valley whose lives he's touched. I think there's probably a lot of parents here and a lot of kids that did progression. And it's the most memorable summers of these kids' lives, I think. So anyway, um, we really love this family. And as his grandmother said, and I was so impressed, the first thing she said when she saw Jordan was he died doing what he loves. And he's gonna have one hell of a welcoming committee <laughs> wherever he went to, unfortunately, but true. <laughs> he's got a lot of great people who preceded him. So, thank thanks. you, Lori. Thank yeah. you for being here, Casey. Is there anyone else? Um, well, I just wanted to say that, uh, I know the Nijiks from, I used to work with them back at the BCRD together, and, um, we had some good times during the summer, and, um, meeting Michael and Jordan and Kyle, like, it was, they're, they're just such a good family, and I'm honored to meet such an amazing family, and, you know, you guys are such a great inspiration, and... I think one of the one of my favorite memories was when uh, me and uh, when Jordan, Michael, and me we went longboarding, and I went longboarding for them for the first time, and I thought these guys are crazy, <laughs> and it was um, it was we just had a blast, you know, and I just love how you know you guys are just almost just fearless out there, you know, and it's great, and it's just um, you know I just I. It was just, you guys are just such a good inspiration, you know, and Jordan, he lived, he really did live his life to the fullest, and, and I know, I, I know, I, I know all of us will all see him again, this isn't the end, and I know we'll all see him, you know, but, uh, I, uh, I wish nothing but the best for the Nijiks, and, uh, I'm always here for you, Jordan, or Michael, if you ever need anything. Hi, I'm Sue Connor Atikoff, and our son Willie Atikoff is a very good friend of Jordan's, and um, they had a lot of adventures together. Willie can't be here today, but um, they did a lot of mountain biking, uh, some misadventures too, I think, <laughs> yeah, and uh, some skiing. We were fortunate to get to do some backcountry skiing with Jordan around New Year's, and um, 
just loved how Jordan always smiled. He's always so appreciative of everything. They were part of this big boy posse, and we were lucky to get to have him over for dinner a lot, and um, with Michael too sometimes, but it was always really a pleasure to be around Jordan. And I love how um, even if you saw Jordan yesterday, if you said hello to him today, he would just have this huge smile and say, Hi, how you doing? Like, you just live his life. And it's just wonderful, and it lit up all of our lives. So thank you, Jordan. Hi, I'm Chris Lance. Um, I just can't remember as a little kid, I used to always do Axons Park, and I remember the one thing I was always stoked for every single day was mountain biking with Jordan. He was just one of those guys where you're like, yes, get to hang out with him, get to be with him. And he just had a promise with, with the little kids, just like, okay, once a week we'll go to the Sun Valley Chocolate Factory and get treats, but the rest of the days you guys gotta push yourself. And he'd either be the leader in the front just leading everybody as everyone's following them, or if there's someone struggling in the back, he's just pushing them, making sure they're doing everything right they could. And I mean, it was just crazy how I was hanging out with friends just a couple months ago, and we <coughs> haven't really, like, I didn't see my friends for a while, and it was just, we were like, oh, dude, we used to always hang out at Axton's Park. Like, I remember mountain biking with Jordan. He was just like, it's one of those guys where it's like, I'll never forget him in my childhood, and him being a counselor for me, and just always having that bright smile. And it didn't matter what age you were, he, he, everyone radiated to him. Hi, my name is Kendra Niedrich Bingham. Doug is my brother and I'm one of Jordan's aunts. Um, I have five boys and they all love their Niedrich cousins. And I have a son who is um, serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in, whoops, Brazil. And I wanted to read, um, I told him about the Jordan's accident yesterday and I wanted to read what he wrote. But first I wanted to, um, he wrote this to his cousin Lindsay, who, Jordan's sister, who's in Abu Dhabi and Kyle, who's in Missouri, and um, of course Michael, who just flew in from Hawaii today. Um, dear family, I heard about the accident about five minutes ago. I am so sorry. I don't have anything more to say. My words can't bring him back, and I will not try to comfort you with my words, because I don't know how it is to lose a son and a brother. But just know that I love you and you are in my prayers. I will also be fasting for your comfort during this time of sorrow, anger, sadness, grief, and pain. Try to find our Savior in your midst, because He will be there. I know it. Because He was there for me. My husband passed away from cancer two years ago. I love you all so much and you are in my prayers. I will miss Jordan so much. I know as teenagers, we weren't that close, but some of my best childhood memories were with him and with your family. I will hold these memories close to my heart forever. I know he is well. My dad met him on the other side. He is taking care of your son. The veil is a lot thinner than we think. He may not be where we can see him, but he is definitely willing to listen and talk to you still. Search to have experiences with him still. It's the best thing we can do. I love you all so much, and you are in my prayers. Love, Colin. I just wanted to thank you all for this beautiful, beautiful tribute of your love for Jordan. And we love him too and are so grateful to be witnesses of the love that he had through the expressions of love that you were sharing by being here today. So thank you so very much. Thank you. 
My name is Erin Reinschild, and um, I just wanted to echo and speak to so many of the same uh, feelings and and that have been echoed around um, the stories of Jordan. But he was an incredibly dear um, friend to my son Rudolph and, and a friend to me as well. He's one of those guys, like uh, Tim was saying, he would embrace an adult just like, you know, an old parent. Like, you know, I'm going to throw you in just like you're the rest of my teenage friends. And a couple stories um, just... Uh, Many years ago, uh, we had just moved up here, and, and Bill went through school with, with uh, Jordan, and he's like, let's do first chair. Uh, well, he was taking Bill, not me. And Bill's like, sure, I'll do first chair. What time do I need to be there? He goes, well, no, we got to be there at like, you know, 3 p.m. the day before, and this is what we do. We camp, and he goes, oh, i got to be that, that guy. I'm going to be that guy because I can't do things normal. i got to always be pushing the limit. And for somebody so compassionate, so passionate, he always seeked to push the envelope and embrace life and um, just love that about him and and we'd have birthday parties on the deck and we've got a pool that kind of sits in the front of our house and it wasn't like just you know dive into the pool he's like no I'm gonna scale over the barbecue climb the wall get on the trellis do it back flip into the deep end I'm like okay I need to have you sign a liability waiver before you go into my house again but anyway um, just that smile with that little smirk though that said I'm just always going to be that guy to go enjoy enjoy life and and he's doing that just now probably surfing the clouds up there and and having waiting for us all to join him but thank you jordan and the new york family may peace be in your heart soon and thank you for sharing jordan with us I had the uh, the good fortune of skiing with Jordan Friday afternoon, and we were having a blast, sending jumps, and you know his smile and positive attitude was uh, leading the way that day. And uh, Saturday afternoon, on my first chairlift ride up, I heard the news, and as I was skiing down ridge on the right side of ridge for the first time that day, all I could think about was Jordan, and then I realized that I was skiing pretty fast and I better pay attention and right at that moment these two black ravens came swooping right in front of me like below me like right there and then swooped up high away and right then I settled into some nice easy turns and was instantly relaxed and it was uh it was a it was quite a beautiful moment that instantly turned my attitude around and showed me that we can you know still move on because he's up there flying around having fun but it was uh, really a powerful moment on what was a powerful day and uh, just want to say we're going to miss you and how much fun you brought to everybody here and uh, your smile and your positive energy was super contagious so hopefully we can keep carrying that on and keep it contagious. Okay, so, do you want to say something, Michael? Sure, just real quick. <sighs> Sorry. Jordan was the most important person of my life. <laughs> he truly made me into who I am today, and he taught me everything that I know how to do, and he taught me how to love people and treat people with respect. He was. He was amazing at that, and he loved all of you, and I just want you to know that, that he loved every one of you, no matter what, and I just can't imagine life without him. It's going to be really hard. We always did everything together, and um, but we'll get through it, and <laughs> Jordan loves you all, and thank you all so much for the support. I want to hug every one of you. This is amazing. You guys are so supportive. Can't believe it. Uh, I love you guys. Thank I love you. you. Thank you, Michael. And if, I, if you get a chance to read what Michael wrote on Facebook, it's very beautiful. Um, how about a one, two, three, Michael? And then after that, we'll do a one, two, three, we love you, Jordan. And then um, about three minutes after that, we'll all follow Michael. He will lead us down uh, down the mountain. 
on Warm Springs and over to Greyhawk and down to down to the train park, probably over on Cozy. Um, on uh, after the three, two, one, Michael. Three, two, one. Michael. And we love you, Jordan. Three, two, one. We love you, Jordan.